I used offer up today and here I am at a gas station just sitting around it almost feels like I'm making a shady deal waiting for the seller to show up I paid $150 for three Marvel sets which I will show you guys once I get home uh, the total would have been 175 I made an offer of 50 in my opinion her pricing was a little bit lower than the average market uh, price currently and if I hold on to it the price will continue going up because these are retired sets and some of the minifigures like Mantis and um, the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy with that whistles uh, that guy is pretty valuable as well these are the $30 $40 minifigures so I think I think it was an all right deal not the best thing but it will add some variety to what I have and I want to start diversifying and getting older minifigures and older sets. So let's get the sets and I'll show you guys when I get home. Alright guys, well I got the three sets and they're all Marvel superhero sets from 2017 and 2018. I forget which is which, but uh, I paid, as I mentioned before, 150 for these three and I think I'm gonna hold on to them for a little bit because I ultimately I got them for the minifigures the I for the Mantis the, uh, Yondu Vision Black Panther Corvus Glaive specifically because it only comes uh, out in this set and um, just to give you guys an idea of what the value is currently, I mean, I still paid $150. It's not like it's a complete steal, okay? But if you if you look at all the new Corvus Glaives in the United States, the lowest right now is at $25. I mean, value is all relative to supply and demand. So there aren't too many new left in the market. If I were, if I wait another year, actually, I'm going to be doing an experiment. Every three months, I'm gonna come and take a look at the the same minifigures that we're looking at today, and we're gonna do an experiment for a whole year. Every three months, I'm going to make an update video on how many new minifigures there are in my market, which is the United States and what the pricing is looking like so right now the lowest one's 25 and then it just shoots up to 31 pretty good let's take a look at vision vision is the lowest one's at almost 20 dollars and then it jumps up to 29 then we have mantis you could clearly see for Mantis, there are not too many new ones in the market. So the supply is quite short. I have a feeling she's going to be worth maybe 40 or $50 next year. But let's see if I'm calling it right or not. Lowest is 25 then it shoots up to 30 something These are pretty valuable minifigures. Uh, considering that, yeah, I did pay 150 But... Um, I'm also getting other minifigures and parts. I'm going. I'm going to part these sets out. Uh, so I'm going to have more value than just these minifigures. Yeah, this is semi investing, semi parting out. Well, it's parting out, but with an investment angle, because I'm actually going to hold on to it for a year. And uh, Yandu is not that rare in the market. Huh, maybe the demand isn't too high for it, but I think he only comes out in this set. Actually, if you guys are using BrickLink as well, um, you find the minifigure on the right-hand side over here. It says item appears in, and yep, yeah, this is the only set it appears in. So its value is definitely going to go up, and currently the lowest is 27 and then it shoots up to $40. Look at that. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for the update and uh, my usage of OfferUp. Uh, I might have found a supplier 
uh, he ha he is a collector and uh, he's ha having some financial troubles currently and he wants to get rid of a lot of his inventory so I might shop with him again we'll see and he only lives a couple of minutes away alright guys so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one